Hi there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw and color a heart wrapped in a bow. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing our heart. So I wanted to share with you a little tip that I like to do when I have to draw really big hearts and I'm trying to make it um, as even as possible. So come here, we're at the top of the heart and this is going to be your center. Just give yourself a point and I like to go straight down just as big as you want your heart to be. So I'm going to say about about right here. So just come straight down and just give yourself another point. Straight down. So this way you can, it's pretty, um, you have a guide to where to go for your um, heart. So I'm going to start right here at the top. I'm going to go up with my curve. So I'm going to draw a nice full heart. The big round part. And then I'm going to bring it down to this point. So now I have a guide makes it a lot easier. So there, that's one side. And now to draw the other side. So to try to make it as even as possible, of course it's not going to be perfect, so <laughs> don't give up if it's not. Um, and it doesn't have to be, so don't worry. So, but if you want to um, get some um, extra help, just come across and just about right here, just give yourself a little point so you kind of know that's how high the other side should be and we're gonna go up. So this is the center. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna hit that point. Ah! And I went off. <laughs> and bring it, start to bring it around. So let's see here. Bring it around. So there. Now I'm gonna stop and if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish it off and bring it back to this point. Because I'm going to be coloring this drawing, um, I can't really erase. I'm just going to go in and draw this bow first. So come about right here in this little area right here. And I'm going to start to draw um, the middle of the bow. So I'm going to give myself like a little oval. About right there. And however big or small you want your bow, it doesn't matter. Um, it's all up to you. So I'm going to come up here and start to draw the bow. Nice and round and big. So I'm going to come out on this side. And bring it back in. So then for some details in the bow, I'm going to come right here. Give myself a little curve. To add some dimension to my bow. And then right here, in, I'm going to give myself two little loops, little curves. So then I'm going to bring down the bottom part of this bow right here. So come to the center and I'm going to draw. I don't even know what this part of the bow is called. <laughs> Does anyone in the comments please let me know what is this part called and what is this part called? Is there a name for it? I never know what to say. <laughs> so here I'm going to draw the bottom part. I'm just going to call it the bottom part. So there, I got my bow in. So now I can finish off my heart. So I'm just going to keep continuing. And so let's see a little part there. And bring it in. So there, got my heart in. So now with this bow, I'm going to wrap, we're going to wrap this heart with it. So I'm going to draw a curve about right here. And we're going to curve it a little bit up. And the reason we're curving it is just to make it look like it's wrapped around the heart. Just to add some volume to our drawing. And then um, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, right? And then I'm going to give my heart a highlight here, but I'm not going to um, draw it with a Sharpie. I'll do that when I color it in. So to color it, I'm just going to be using water-based markers, just your basic Crayola markers. So let's get started.
So there, it's pretty much drawn and colored now. And um, I hope you noticed that when I was coloring the heart, one of the tips to prevent too much streaking is just to color it all in the same direction as um, much as possible. Because when it's a smaller space, it's easier to do that. So that way you prevent all the streaks in the center. Um, and as you can see with the, um, the bow right here, I was a little bit more carefree when I was coloring it because it's just pink and it wouldn't matter if you went over the red at all. So I hope those were um, good tips for you to cut when you color it. And when you, if you want to add some more dimension to your drawing, uh, what you can do is go in with a color pencil. So this is just uh, a Crayola color pencil. I think this is called magenta. So any color, darker red or a darker plum that you have, you can go in there and um, create some more shadow. Come in here and this just adds some more depth to your um, to your drawing if you wanted to go even further with it. So I'm just going to go in here and uh, create more shadow and more depth. So there, my heart wrapped in a bow, all drawn and colored. I hope you like how it turned out. And I did go in there, as you see, with a black color pencil very lightly just to make the shadows a little bit darker. So I hope this um, really inspired you and I made it easy for you to follow along to draw this beautiful heart for someone that you love today. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.